Good evening. Tonight, I can report to the American people and to the world that the United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden, the leader of al-Qaeda. It is May 2nd, 2011. Yesterday, May Day, May 1st, President Obama addressed the nation late Sunday evening to say that just hours before Osama bin Laden had been killed in the middle of a major populated city in a palace compound. My friends, this is a complete and total hoax, and we predicted with total precision with inside sources going back more than eight years ago exactly what would happen. It's on record that Steve Pachinik, uh, who worked as the top deputy to Henry Kissinger, and who also is a high-level counsel on foreign relations member, was interviewed back in April of 2002 and said that bin Laden was dead and that was on ice and that in the future he would be used at a politically expedient time to bolster the government in the eyes of the people. Mr. Pachinik, extremely high-powered. Here's the quote. I worked with Osama bin Laden, Pachinik told Jones, adding that he later turned terrorist hunter during subsequent administrations. And then he went on from that point, this is just a few months after 9-11, early 2002, to break this down. Now, I was the first to ever have an insider come out and say this. Then Madeleine Albright in 2003, on December 17th, went on Fox News program and said that he was dead and on ice and that the Bush administration was thinking about rolling him out during the 2004 election if they needed it. But then because of that coverage, the inside baseball was they didn't. Now, even before she went public, a year and a half after I first broke this news, I had a White House source here in Austin, Texas. You know, a lot of folks live here in Austin, but were also in the Bush administration because they came from Texas. Uh, Bush had just been governor here. And I was told by an extremely high-level White House source this information. Separately, I then confirmed through another White House source uh, here in Austin through a uh, separate party. Ladies and gentlemen, this was completely staged. All right, there's the whole CIA background of Osama bin Laden. There's the fact that it comes out that Amwar al-Awlaki, that uh, his number two, running all these terror attacks, is hanging out secretly at the Pentagon. Uh, there's the government lying about WMDs and our destroyers being attacked to get us uh, into Vietnam. You know this history of major hoaxes being run. But notice when all this came out. Then I'll go through some anomalies. Just the tip of the iceberg. This all came out right at the time that Obama's approval rating was dropping like a rock, an all-time low this far into a president's administration. As the dollar's dropping, as support for Iraq, Afghanistan, Libya, and the uh, drone attacks in Pakistan was imploding. Right as the Pakistanis were threatening to kick the U.S. out of Pakistan and to kick their drones out. Right as this happens, there's this big propaganda victory, and what do they do? They take the body and throw it in the ocean, they say. Do you really believe that? No one is buying that. I've been listening to talk radio last night and this morning, even conservative stations that want to buy into this propaganda. No one is buying that. They've thrown his body in, but don't worry, they have a DNA test, and they uh, have a face scan so they know it's him. This is the same government where the CIA agents last year admitted in the Washington Post that they created fake bin Laden videos. This is the same government that's constantly caught lying. But conveniently, his body is now out in the ocean somewhere, buried at sea. But it gets worse. Last night, as soon as this was announced, it was all over U.S. TV, British TV, European papers, fake photos. And as soon as I saw it, I sent text messages to Paul Watson and others and said, look into this. This is the same fake bin Laden dead photo that's photoshopped of him that we saw years ago. And so digging into this, we've learned they claim that they've killed him nine separate times. But obviously this is the big presidential announcement. They claim that they've killed uh, other Al-Qaeda operatives over and over again. They're training you to accept this type of garbage. So we've got that information. Uh, that they've killed him nine times. And finally, now we're being told, 
Oh, uh, Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, who has been tortured for many, many years and who confessed to bombing buildings that were built after he was incarcerated, uh, he, he might as well confess to shooting Kennedy or killing Lincoln or crucifying Christ uh, 2011 uh, years ago. I mean, this is getting more and more insane. Uh, all the usual suspects, the Adam Gadon, the grandson of the former head of the ADL, uh, the Zawari, all of them are running around saying, we're going to get you. And Khalid Sheikh Mohammed uh, is saying from Guantanamo that if they kill bin Laden, nukes will go off. And then meanwhile, you've got our media reporting there could be 160 nukes. I mean, does anybody believe this? This is going to be used to launch more wars, to say, see, we're winning, and to have a bigger domestic crackdown to protect us from the terrorists hiding under every table. Make no mistake, we got sent over two years ago, the Homeland Security Mayak reports, 90 plus percent of the Homeland Security activity is against gun owners, conservatives, libertarians, in the fetters, people that understand the real enemy of this country are the offshore banks that have come in and taken over this nation. So right as our country's being imploded, right as the world government's being announced, right as we go into the depression, here's this PR move about, boy, we're walking a little taller today, got a spring in my step. It's all a wag the dog Hollywood production. My friends, uh, we'll continue to cover all the other developments. There's so much more at Infowars.com on the live radio show uh, and the video feed at PrisonPlanet.tv. So continue to watch Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. We've got about a million people roughly hitting the side an hour right now. This is the biggest news story we've ever been involved in, obviously, as the whole world is looking for answers uh, to what's happened. Uh, but that's just some of the points, and more and more anomalies are, are coming out. And they announced this on a Sunday night, so they dominate the news cycle this week. But already, uh, people are not buying into it across the board. It is a fairy tale. If you believe this, then I got a bridge I'm wanting to sell you, um, and I've got some oceanfront property in Arizona. Again, continue to be skeptical, continue to research, and understand that we have all the inside sources. And then Bear, the former CIA commander, all of them on record saying he was dead a long time ago. They've known this. He was a convenient boogeyman. Remember Bush saying, I don't care where he is. I'm not worried about him. And now they're basically just announcing this to signify not the end of the war on terror, but to basically bring in false flag attacks or the threat of attacks uh, as a pretext to relaunch and expand the police state that's been set up for the American people. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want. Mm -hmm.